So before I get uh, into this particular conversation, I came across an interview that you had actually done before, and one of the things that you mentioned was that you attribute the woman you are today because of your parents. How is it for you growing up? Because I know you were born in Canada to a Canadian dad and the... Uh, actually, the other way around. The other so, way around. yeah, Kenyan dad, dad and Canadian, Canadian mother. Mom. Yes. I mean, I think, I think, you know, we are all shaped by our earliest years and by the people who raised us, in good and in bad ways. Um, but I think a lot of... A lot of the things I like about myself come from my parents. A lot of the things I struggle with about myself come from my parents. So it's in, it's in both ways. It's not all positive. Um, but I, I, you know, I think as you get older, you become more self-aware and you start to look at yourself and wonder, why do I do things like this? And mm -hmm. other people seem to do it differently. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I'm very, very grateful for is my parents. And some of this I don't even think was by design. I think yeah. it was just by default. But my father was hardly ever home. He was a big drinker, and so he lived in the in the bar. Um, and my mom was very liberal. And so I wasn't raised with a lot of conditioning. Like I wasn't told, this is how you must behave, or you must sit like this, you must talk to people like this. So what it, what I think it did was it allowed us to sort of become who we are there wasn't a framework that we had to fit within and if that because what I've realized sometimes is that with families that are very structured the children's n natural tendencies may not go in that direction and True. so you're constantly fighting against who you are yeah. and who you're being told you should be whereas we were never really told who we should be so we just evolved into who like we were interesting. Yeah. and what would you say because you mentioned there are two parts in terms of like the good part, the, ba I, the, yeah, bad, the part. bad part. Let me start with the bad part. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned dad was a heavy drinker. Yeah. How did it affect you growing up? Or maybe what are some of the values that probably affected yeah, you? Yeah, so, so I never, and so one, he was a heavy drinker. Two, him and my mother didn't have a good relationship. So I never saw a good model of what, a, a, you know, a, a loving, respectful, mature, intimate relationship can look like. And so I've spent a lot of my life looking for that mm -hmm. and and not having it ingrained in the back of my subconscious somewhere so um i think i've had daddy issues i think i've looked for validation from men um and it's taken me very many years to sort of get to the point where i i know now that i can never get what i'm looking for externally mm -hmm. like i have to be okay with the fact that I, I I didn't have that as a as a kid, mm -hmm. um, and that's and that's fine. And the positive. You know? Yeah. So the okay. Uh, and and to me, to be honest, I think most things there's a positive and a negative of the exact same thing. Yeah. Uh, so so as much as that needing that validation has has led to certain disappointments, it's it also made made me very independent. It made me a go getter because I. I didn't have sort of that fallback and people who were, you know, were going to constantly tell me all the time, oh, here, hold my mm -hmm. hand, do this. So I just had to go and do it. Yeah. I also grew up with three brothers and no sisters. I mean, I had to fight. Oh, you're the only girl. You know, I, I had to fight to get that piece of chocolate, you yeah. know? <laughs> the last one or first? I'm second. Second. I'm second. So in the middle. I was, yeah, sort of in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, but it meant that I, 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 you know, when I listened to a lot of, women especially in the in the entrepreneurship space there's a lot of conversation around as a woman you know do you do you how do you operate in a man's world how do you get into a room and and you know find your space at the table i'm like i've been doing that my whole life yeah. so that's not my challenge i mean i have many other challenges but not not that one interesting so you partly grew up in canada Group. No, I mean, I can't say that because we left when I was seven months or eight months Oh, seven old. months. Yeah, and so I, I have been no, in Kenya. No recollection. So then we moved back. We moved back to Kenya for about two years. Then my dad joined the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and he was posted um, to the U.S. So I spent five years in the U.S. So mm -hmm. from two to seven. Mm -hmm. Then we moved back to Kenya. Yeah. 